Alrighty guys, welcome back to your sixth video and in this video what we're going to be doing is actually building some cool functions. The first function that we're going to make is the function that the user uses to delete all of their messages. So whenever they press the delete button, it's pretty much going to clear the entire chat log and delete all of the messages in the database so you know how you don't want to store all the messages from your chat room forever or else your database is gonna you know be huge and it's gonna eat all the memory on your server so we gave the user the ability to pretty much clear the chat room so this is how you do that now truncates and whenever you're working with MySQL whenever you truncate a table it pretty much mean empty empties the table or delete every single row. So what this function is going to do is it's going to go in your database and delete every single message or every single row and what the user is going to see is their pretty much their chat room or their log is going to be emptied or their history is going to be cleared you know however you want to say it. So it empties um, the table containing all messages. So let's go ahead and build this public function and I'll just go ahead and call all this delete all messages and it doesn't take any parameters because we don't need to give it any additional information now the query for this and let's go ahead and build the query first is just truncate table and the table name was chat so whenever we run this query, it's going to delete every single row in the table chat. So that's what truncate means, delete every single row. Now we actually need to run this query. It's supposed to be a variable. So the result, so what we did right here is we basically just built the query. And this isn't the same as running the query. If we just ran our code right now, nothing would happen. In order to run this query or execute it, this is how you do that this you have to use your object that you created and this is pretty much saying okay we're using this object which is basically a, a connection to the database that we created so this my SQLI query and now this takes a parameter of which query do you want to execute so this is actually a function is and as a parameter you pass it the variable of the query or basically the query that you want to execute so this builds the query that says basically delete every single row in the database or excuse me in the table and this executes the query so eventually we're gonna link this function to the button that says delete messages and whenever the user clicks it it's gonna call this function and delete all of the messages in the chat room so that's pretty cool let's go ahead and build another function so a next logical function that we can build is how to make the user post a new message to the chat room because right now all the user can do is delete messages not a very cool chat room so you want to give them the ability to post a new message so you know they can actually communicate with each other I think that would be very useful so public function post new message so whenever this function is called they're gonna post a new message or in other words insert a message into the database now for this we actually do need some pieces of information the first thing is which user is posting the message so we'll go ahead and pass that in the username the next thing is what is the message or what are they typing and we'll store that in message and the last thing we're going to store is color which is basically the color of their text now what we need to do now is we need to set all of these um, variables and we kind of need to clean them up so let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about so the username is going to be equal to this my SQLI real escape string username and what this does right here is real escape string is basically the MySQL improved way that you 
uh, fix MySQL injection and this if you guys don't know about MySQL injection or about like uh, PHP security or MySQL security there is a way that the user can actually hack your database by typing a message into any input box and what I just want to talk to you guys about this for 20 seconds. What they can do is they can actually type in a bit of SQL code and it will execute whenever it goes to your database. But this is how you prevent against that. Um, if you guys don't know about that, just remember, real escape string means don't let the user hack my database. Boom. Very simple. So what we need to do is we actually need to do this not only for the username, but their message as well. 